My name is JR Tallman, and today I'll be taking you through a demo of how to create RevRec with Percent Complete and NetSuite's Advanced Revenue Management, or ARM, functionality. We'll be going through and creating an item. We'll look at the revenue recognition rule for Percent Complete. We'll then create a project, create a sales order, and then create the associated revenue arrangement and revenue recognition plans for the associated Percent Complete. With that said, let's go ahead and create an item within NetSuite. We're going to go to List, Accounting, Items, and New, where I'll create a demo percent complete item. Since this is going to be a percent complete demo, we'll go ahead and use a service for sale as the type, although you could use a non-inventory item uh, or other type of item as necessary. The item name and slash number, we'll go ahead and give this percent complete. Uh, which we'll be using in just a moment on our sales order. We'll make this available for all my subsidiaries, although, again, you could restrict this to the, only the subsidiaries that you wish to use this item for. The key piece with advanced revenue management is going to be underneath the revenue recognition or amortization subtab, although it may be in a different area depending on your custom form setup. The first thing we're going to take a look at is the revenue recognition rule, which is required and has a asterisk uh, that notes that it's required. Right now, it's set to default standard, which would mean it, this item, if it was to be used on a transaction, it would be 100% recognized upon order creation. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and change this revenue recognition rule to be based on percent complete. All right, so I do have a default percent complete revenue recognition rule, and this should be defaulted in the system um, when it comes when you enable advanced revenue management. Although, I'm going to go ahead and open this just so you can see how this is set up with the revenue recognition rule. Right. So the key thing to note, if you are creating your own revenue recognition rule, which can be found underneath list accounting revenue recognition rules and new, 4% complete, you're going to want to have a, an amount source to be event percent complete. This is very important. If it is not event percent complete, you will not be able to use a project input percent complete and run through RevRec. Additionally, the start date and end date source should be event date. Right, so when we put a percent complete on our project, which you'll see in just a moment, that will be used to calculate the percent complete and the final amount to be recognized. So let's go back to our service for sale item, where we set the default percent complete revenue recognition rule. For my RevRec forecast rule, I'm not going to use percent complete here. I'm going to use this to be basically ratable over the start date and estimated end date that's set on the project. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and set start date, uh, straight line over start and end dates uh, that are set on the, the project. Okay. Although we are going to be focusing on more on the true revenue recognition, which will be the revenue recognition rule. And then finally, when you are setting up a basic item 4% complete, you're going to want to make sure that the create revenue plans on is set to be project progress. If it's not project progress, it will not create rev rec based on percent complete. It will want to create it right away, um, or it will want to create it on billing or fulfillment or another triggering event. All right, so it is important to make sure that you have a percent complete rev rec rule and that your create revenue plans on is set to be project progress. So let's go ahead and save this item. Uh, before I save that, it is making me put in a tax schedule here since it is required. And we'll go ahead and save. All right, and then the next step before we create an order and do percent complete is to create the project uh, within the system. So this is going to be found underneath list, relationships, projects, and new. And we'll create a new project. We'll call this percent complete item. Uh, actually, let's just call it percent complete project. And we'll give this to a customer. Uh, we'll just go ahead and select Oracle as the customer. Uh, we can make it nice and easy. And then as I mentioned before with our percent complete forecasting rule, we are going to want to fill in a start date and estimated end date here uh, to be recognized uh, forecasting purposes over these dates, right? So we'll keep the date today as 328, uh, and then we'll actually expand this out, uh, let's say, uh, to the end of July, all right? And then my forecasting should be based on those dates. 
That's all that's needed right now for the project setup, uh, but we will come back in here and go to the financial sub tab where we will put a percent complete override to actually fill in the percent complete that we want to be recognized. We can also import to this sub list down below here based on a given month or period, um, but we'll go ahead and do this manually through the user interface in just a moment. So I'll just go ahead and save this project. Again, very straightforward. We're going to enter the start and end dates, give it a name, and then associate it with a customer. Now that my project is set up and we've created an item, what I'm going to do is going to create a new order in the system. So let's go to transactions, sales, and enter sales orders. And then we'll go ahead and select the customer, which is going to be Oracle again. For my revenue recognition to occur, we are going to want to change the status from pending approval to be approved. In this case, pending fulfillment if I had fulfillable items. Uh, so I'll go ahead and switch that status so we don't have to go through the approval process. And then finally, if I move down to the lines, we are going to want to go ahead and select the job that I just set up for the project. Uh, it may be called differently depending on if you have renamed your records in the system. So we'll go ahead and find that uh, percent complete uh, project that we just set up, which is 12% complete here. All right, and I can verify that in my recent records. You can see 12% complete. The item that I'm going to go ahead and select, we'll go ahead and select that percent complete item. All right, so hopefully I can find it. There it is. And we'll give this percent complete item a, uh, let's go ahead and give it as a rate, uh, let's say $1,200. And we'll go ahead and add this line item. And that should do it. We'll go ahead and save. And once this is saved, we've created the item for percent complete. We made sure our revenue recognition rules were set up appropriately. We just created our project, and now we associated a new order with that project. So at this time, since it is pending billing, right, I had no fulfillable items. Um, I could bill this if I wanted to, but in this demo, we're going through percent complete rev rec. So I could wait three hours for my automatic revenue arrangement to get created. Or I'm going to go ahead and do this manually so we can look at the revenue arrangement and the associated rev rec plans uh, that come with it. So let's go ahead and go to transactions, financial, update revenue arrangements, and rev rec plans. And I'll go ahead and do this just for today's date. And we'll update the revenue arrangements. Again, this will be associated with that sales order, um, and associated with that sales order is the project that we just saw. I do find it helpful if you're on this page to sort by the date created, um, so you can see if there's any errors uh, or whatnot. You can see I do have some errors um, on probably some historical transactions uh, that were tested in this environment, uh, but it looks like the ones that uh, we just did today, right, are complete with zero errors. Okay, so I could go back to that sales order if I wanted to. Uh, I could also click on complete here, uh, which will take me into the revenue arrangement that is associated with, uh, hopefully, uh, that uh, sales order that we just created. But let's just go ahead and do our recent records. As you can see, I, I clicked on one that was associated with a different uh, order. In that case, it was actually a subscription billing with a sweep billing. Underneath the related records sub tab, though, you can see it did create a revenue arrangement number 332 here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open this in a new tab so we can check out the revenue arrangement that got generated. All right, so here's the revenue arrangement. Like I said, number 332. And if we look at the line, we have our percent complete item. It's for $1,200. This is doing no allocation. So if, if if you recall on that item setup, we just went through the basics. 
Uh, if you wanted to use allocations, you could certainly set up a fair value price uh, and do allocations between items, but this is just straight $1,200 going to be uh, recognized based on our percent complete, which we'll do just in a, in a moment here. If I scroll over on the line, you can see my create plans on, again, that's important, is project progress, and that came from the item. Our rev rec rule is default percent complete, and then our rev rec forecast is using the straight line start and end dates. Okay, um, I don't have start and end dates listed here. Um, those didn't come over, it looks like, from the, the project, uh, but that's fine for now. We'll go ahead and click on update uh, revenue plans. Right, so it updated the plans. Um, before I look at the arrangement, I'm gonna just go to the project and show you how to put the percent complete in it. Um, so I can go to my recent records and I can go to our project that we were looking at that we set up, which was percent complete. And on this project, the key with doing percent complete and recognizing it based on your order, I created a sales order, uh, you could have created it with an invoice otherwise, um, is to make sure that you associate a value, uh, the value needs to be between zero and 100% underneath the financial sub tab of this project record. So if I go down to the accounting period here, underneath the percent complete override sub list, I can go ahead and select, let's say March of 2019, all right, I do have a lot of periods here, uh, but we'll go ahead and select March of 2019, and then I can put the cumulative percent complete. All right, so just make sure that this is the cumulative percent complete. So if you came back in here in April, you want to want to make sure that it's the cumulative, not the the difference, right? Um, percent. You can go down. So if I go ahead and put 40 percent here, I could enter April uh, with 20 percent, and it would do a, um, a, a the difference. It would actually create a negative rev rec um, entry in the system. All right, so let's go ahead and just save this. And we'll go back to our revenue arrangement, where our plan should have 40% of the actual value to be recognized. So I'll click on update revenue plans. And again, this will run every three hours in the system if you have your settings set up to be automatic. Otherwise, you can run this on demand by clicking that button or the button on underneath transactions, financial update revenue arrangements and revenue recognition plans. So if we go back to the revenue arrangement, uh, well, let's go ahead and view the revenue plans, uh, either at the bottom or the, the top of the page, you can click on the button. Additionally, if you did have a lot of line items and you just wanted to view the, the plan for the individual line, you can look for the icon that has the open or expand button uh, and you can view that individual plan. Okay, so we can go ahead and do that here. And you can see the actual plan that was generated, percent complete. Again, this will not be generated as an actual plan type until there has been a percent complete associated with that project. Let's go ahead and click on the plan number, which is 955 here. And you can review the information at the top of the page, but really what's key is going to be the planned revenue, right? And this is what's going to be recognized based on, uh, you know, the period end, or if you have it scheduled to recognize your rev reg journal entries in the system, All right? So you can see here, it's going to recognize $480 uh, in March time period, since that is uh, the 40% of my $1,200. So finally, what you would want to do then as part of that month end process, uh, you can go to transactions, financial, schedule revenue recognition journal entries and run now. Again, as I mentioned, you could schedule these if you wanted to, to be daily, weekly, monthly, however you wanna run it. Uh, but I like to run these on demand uh, by just clicking the run now button or the link here. We'll go ahead and select our posting period. Again, that was in March of 2019. This will show all posting periods. So if you have something that's been closed, it will do a catch up period to the next open period. It will give you a warning if the period has been closed. So I've selected March 2019 here. Uh, you can see uh, my parent company and so forth. I am going to go to limit this just to the, the project that we created here. So let's go ahead and just do the uh, Oracle project number 12. And this should update down below based on that project that I just set up. 
Okay. And from here, uh, depending on how your approvals are set up, I could approve this journal entry. Uh, once it's approved, it will show up in your revenue reports. Otherwise, it will not show up until it has been approved. And then we'll go ahead and click on the Create Journal Entries, which will then create the journal entries for this RevRec plan. I am working in a demo account, so this could be going a little slower. Uh, if you are working in production, uh, you'll be able to you know, run through these thousands at a time very quickly. Okay, it's complete, zero errors. If you click on the complete hot link here, it will take you into the journal entries that were created. I should only see one journal entry since I only ran it for one plan. I can go ahead and click on journal number 219 here, and you'll be able to see the RevRec journal, um, the debits and credits at the bottom of the screen. All right, so there's my debit and credits hitting our deferred and revenue account. What I like about this um, is it does bring me back into the plan that we were taking a look at, right? So I can click on 955 here, get full visibility, right? It is attached to the name and the project. Uh, so if I was to run a report within NetSuite, uh, I would be able to see that um, as well. Uh, one thing that I don't like necessarily is that uh, status of the journal, right? It is approved for posting, created from RevRec schedule, um, but there's no way to change that status. Let's go ahead and go back to the plan. If I click on 955, and you'll see how this has been recognized for that 40%. And there'll be also a, a link back to that journal too, right? So again, like I mentioned, there is full visibility back and forth. You could go back to the project uh, the next month or the same month if you wanted to and update the percent complete. That needs to be between zero and 100%. You can go backwards. If you went backwards, you would see a negative amount here for the next month or the current month. Uh, but finally, once you recognize everything, uh, you'll see 100% and the total recognized here. So that's a quick overview of how to do percent complete revenue recognition within NetSuite. Uh, if you have comments, questions, please list them in the uh, feedback below or the comments section of YouTube. Uh, and feel free to reach out to me or connect with me on LinkedIn. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.